to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL Season 16 Hasu League Game 6 between Fisheye and Doodle, and we're getting down to the wire. Upper right-hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Fisheye starting as the white Protoss. Getting called out for casting during some Gosu League stuff. This is my usual casting time and the only time I can do it, which is why otherwise I would give total priority to Veer. Um, and in fact, after this game, I'll probably raid Veer either way. Uh, either way, hopefully he'll still be running it. Just my usual broadcast schedule. This is on Odyssey. You get the mineral only, or, or sorry, not mineral only. You've got this third base, which is protected behind here, which maybe there can be some shenanigans. Natural expansion, less gas. We do have the potential double gas here as well. I have yet to see PVP on this map to my recollection. Usually it's, there's some sort of Zerg or Terran in the mix. I do believe just the sheer length of the map relegates play away from the two gate openers. So I am expecting some more macro play. I'll be curious to see if either of these players attempts to go for that rear expansion or tries to secure three quick nexus just makes Templar high Templar drops all the more powerful, honestly, but also means early scouting is a little bit easier to secure because you can just migrate the probes in between. In fact, I would not be shocked to see someone intentionally take some of the minerals down. I, I feel like that actually might be a smart play right off the bat is to just move a probe down here and try to take the minerals out so that your opponent just can't keep an infinite probe in your base for Long periods of time. Simulator along that edge. Both players getting the scout. Cybernetics core warping in. As well. Let's see if Fisheye gets feisty. Yeah, starting to attack that probe line. Doodle doing the same opposite side. There is a dedicated probe with a defensive pylon. Sometimes I recall that and certain positions that can speed up mining of gas. I don't know that that pylon is quite in the position to do so, though. Usually it's like, I think, one space over. Or maybe I'm off on that. Or maybe it's just cybernetic scores. These are the mechanics of Brood War that I'm a little bit less well-versed on. Magic. Brood War is magic. First sell it and first Dragoon out. This might have been a map where you could maybe skip that first sell it. So, in a straight macro game, I mean, these games have been razor thin either direction. Thus far, Doodle has shown the edge, but Fisheye has not... They've been very winnable matches for Fisheye. And it's really just one engagement different. Okay, yeah, we are seeing... I like what Doodle's doing here. Yeah, trying to get rid of that mineral in the rear. To finish it out, though, you need to, I think, pull it... Can you move it out, actually, once you have the mineral car? I think you got to do return cargo. And actually, Doodle, like, mined the mineral for him on the low ground. But yeah, he's just going to hide back here and go for a later scout down the line. Same thing on the opposite end. That's <laughs> stealing some minerals as well. So it's going to be both, end, uh, both sides, although Doodle looks like he's going to be a little bit more economically behind because he's dedicated a probe to harass, and the Dragoon's just going to sit there to spot along that back edge. He's opening up robotics facilities we are seeing the robo on the opposite side as well i would not be shocked to see one gate robo into expand from both players you'll have to see front door blockade from fisheye that single dragoon waiting for that probe to try to make its way back deny that additional scouting information in a minute is when it'll really count and yeah, just an attack dedicated. Uh, so this is a lot of lost mining time, actually. But that does leave that probe weakened. So basically, Doodle trying to exchange a mineral deficit, although he's somehow managed to stay ahead in the overall worker lead as well as the supply count. Robotics facility warped in. And actually, is this battle probe just going to get the kill? Potentially. Robotics facility up. Observatory. Planted. No observatory at... Sorry, there's the observatory. 
to the north. Second Dragoon waiting. They're just waiting for that probe to try to make a move. This is the drama on both sides. First of all, is there going to be a kill in the rear? Yeah, it's gone. So now Doodle can get that probe back, but these two Dragoons now are just going to be pinned back and waiting to deny information the opposite side. And is he going to send in his own probe? Okay, his own probe walking in. That probe not long for life. Wanted to get the information as well. So, shenanigans denied. Both ends. Robotic support bait. Also dropping. Looks like it's going to warp in a little bit more rapidly. Cutting into the Dragoon count, potentially. Five versus four. Actually, just about even. Somehow, Doodle just slightly ahead in the overall. So, he's got a few more workers, despite having that dedicated probe back here. He's dropping that natural expansion a little bit more rapidly than Fisheye, and I think he does, as you're seeing that cannon take down, I think he does want to make his way towards that third. Which will be a bit of a risky play, because it'll be hard to defend if a shuttle and a reaver end up in the air. Probe making its way out, because it wants to try to get at least forward scouting. Some sort of information. We'll see if... Uh, Doodle, yeah, he finds the Nexus, not able to rescue the probe in the space of it. This observer is going to get the full clean scout. Second gateway now up. First reaver in construction. And shuttle speed being upgraded. So pylon... So this is going to be an option down the line a little bit more rapidly with that cannon. I kind of like the preemptive takedown. I feel like this is forward thinking. Take down that cannon just in case you need it down the line. So you don't have to worry about taking it down later. I think that is worth the resource dedication right there. Still sticking on one gate, that second gateway just warping in. And natural expansion is going to be up considerable smidge sooner. So Doodle once again showing just an, a slight edge overall in the macro game. And we'll see if that turns into victory for him down the line. Three worker count lead. He's gonna get his first shuttle out. Dragoon's watching that high ground just in case there is an enemy shuttle making its way across. Observer spots that that cannon is out of place. I'm wondering if that's gonna give an idea to Fisheye to do the same. He's just started shuttle speed. He's gonna be able to wander up, see the worker saturation, see the third gate planted. Looks like he just wants to camp it there. Pretty good worker speed as the winds are blowing. Reaver has managed to sneak out of the base. Looks like it just wants... So that was just an interesting play from Doodle. So just scouting to the south initially. But he's going to wait for that second Reaver to have the double complement before he goes out. His own observer making his way across. Unfortunately, if he does that, the observer might be able to scout both that shuttle speed is finished and also the positioning. But too late. Now that entire army moving out. Fisheye checking the natural expansion seems nothing. The ramp is oftentimes a great engagement point to stymie these sort of things, but Doodle getting aggressive and pushing towards the front. And this again might open up some play at that third. Slight worker lead. Let's see what the army looks like. We got eight Dragoons versus a spread seven and two Reavers with a shuttle. Doodle checking the edge. Gonna have to back out. That Superior Reaver count should mean that Doodle's going to play defensively, but he's been so aggressive thus far. Probe getting wiped out while it was checking out that 9 o'clock. Zealots scooping up. Noticing that that army's out of position. And are we going to see an elevator into the rear? I'll be curious to see. Observer gets wiped out. Shuttle's making its way to the north. I think he, it's an anticipation of a potential fourth grab, or a third grab. Shuttle's going to return to go ahead and scoop up the second Reaver. But it might be necessary defensively. You have two Dragoons in the backfield from Doodle. Making his gateway count up to five. Same story in the opposite end. Just about a mirror build, but Fisheye, his, when he has won these matches, it's been with this sort of harass. The Reaver able to get into the back corner, getting some initial damage. That's going to be, what, five, six kills? Reaver pays for it, though. Zealot managed to get a Dragoon kill, though. So some bonus. 
Reaver's waiting out near that third. So Fisheye now with the overall worker lead did drop a shuttle in Reavers though. Still has his own shield battery and Reavers to defend. Let's see if he can turn this slight economic lead into a long-term capitalization, however. Doodle's turn. Only a single... Sorry, two Dragoons. Didn't catch that one along that rear. He didn't like what he saw, so he's just going to back out. Another complement of Dragoons are making their way towards that forward location. This might be a suicide run if Doodle pushes into it, though. With that shield battery and the two Reavers on the low ground... Keep in mind, this is a slightly larger army for Doodle. But this is a lot of clutter to fight into. Not the best spread initially. An initial Dragoon getting wiped out with a double shot. And that shuttle exposed. Oh man, I think actually that energy healing up might have saved that shuttle's life. On some follow-up shots there. Doodle testing the front. Working on that pylon, getting some additional shots. Fisheye having some trouble positioning his troops into this and we do see that third base being taken from doodle behind this fisheye's front door again getting pressured and this has been ooh, big hit on one of those reavers looks like it's going to be a larger gateway flood for fisheye in the previous matches where he has one it's been being able to bust out of that base and just overwhelm Going to move out with that shuttle, again recognizing that there's not defensive troops on the ground. A cannon is warping in, but keep in mind this is indefensible without shuttle support. So this could be the decisive moment that gives Fisheye a massive lead if he moves into that third rather than going straight to the main, but actually might be able to get it done on the main. Two, two Dragoons just spawning. Weaver lands, able to get some additional damage done. Oh, I was going to say not a lot of hits, though, but just then, able to clear things out. Doodle, with his superior base count, should be able to filter that in a little bit more rapidly, but Fisheye looking to test the front. The observer spotting. Wanting to snipe that shuttle. Not quite able to. Loses some Dragoons for his effort. And now Doodle, able to threaten to deny that third with a, a serious macro lead. Done a fantastic job macroing thus far. More Dragoons making the way to march out. Is checking that third just to be sure. And now Fisheye has the trouble where if Doodle attacks into him with a superior attack force, could be scattered and have some trouble positioning into it. He does have Sidestorm, Zelt, Leg Speed, and some High Templar starting to be fielded. So we will have that slight tech advantage. But I think Doodle wants to bust here. He's slow walking some of these Reavers towards the front. Another shuttle making its way out for Fisheye. The natural expansion has two cannons, three cannons that are morphing in along that southern ridge. I do believe that third cannon will be there. Shuttle almost losing its life. Between. Fisheye pausing. Now starting to make his way forward, but again, there's three cannons. Not stopping that Reaver from landing and getting a massive shots. Reaver... Is he... No, is going to be able to get a second shot off. So shuttle down, Reaver down. Is that going to trigger an attack on the front? Worker count even. But this is a three base spread versus two. And Doodle was macroing better just generally. However, the longer that, th that he waits on the front, the more side storm that there's going to be stacked to go ahead and break out of the front. The Observer might have spotted the edge of that High Templar. So if Doodle's going to do it, he needs to hurry. The Reavers have slow walked all the way here. A High Templar moving out, drops the Side Storm, catches the shuttle with the Reaver in it. However, Doodle gonna ha has gone ahead and grabbed that third. He's not going to attack into this. He just wants to box Fisheye in and potentially deny that th third continually, moving two Dragoons, it looks like to just check out the low ground and kill that probe as it's walking out. Potentially going to force a pylon cancellation there. So now Fisheye getting boxed in. He's going to have to storm his way out. Metaphorically and literally. 
few forward dragoons taking some free damage right there. Honestly, I think he would have preferred that over the Reavers. Two more dragoons filtering into the south. The longer this goes on, the more that Doodle's going to be able to secure that economic lead and more of a stranglehold outside this natural. And the more difficult it's going to be able to just walk out. Yeah, you can see the dragoons getting taken out for free. Some of the Reavers starting to push forward. Fisheye thinking it's now or never. Now storming forward. Some good size storm, not hitting the Reavers critically. And we have three Reavers out on the front. And this entire battalion of Dragoons is not engaging. Now starting to engage. The Reavers now eating some size storm. Fisheye looks like he's going to be able to break out. Doodle still holding the overall worker lead or the overall macro lead, however. But big bust out and critically three Reavers and four High Templars survive. So Fisheye now with the troop count, is he going to press this in? Oh, and it looks like a bad rally as well. But this could be a short-lived victory as yes, Fisheye was able to bust out of his natural expansion. He has that supply lead. Ooh, actually, I'm not sure I like Doodle's position here. He's only got the five gateways to work with. His main's mined out. He's got three bases, so he's got the overall macro lead. He's denying that third as well, although it looks like Fisheye is just going to go ahead and grab his third at the nine. But Fisheye, in the meantime, is running off six, seven gateways and a little bit more capable of maybe capitalizing on it. <laughs> Two Dragoons dropping into the main bolt to get, I don't know what, what the purpose of that was. Doodle was thinking about very greedy play, grabbing yet another base. Maybe that's just to scout. I think this is to grab another base and Fisheye starting to move out. Very likely, oh, this base wasn't saturated as well. Might be able to take that Nexus out for free as all the Dragoons are currently mid-map out of position. Dragoons are getting, being annoying, but not getting a lot done there. Oops, I don't want to talk to allies. So the Dragoons peeling in, wiping out units. A counterattack from Doodle, forcing a cancellation of that Nexus at the 3 o'clock. So maintaining the overall lead. Let's see if Fisheye, scrambling a little bit, can turn it into something else. He's going to try to grab a Ninja Nexus at the 5 o'clock to try to catch up. This is another one of those situations, though, the longer this lingers. And, oh, that natural expansion completely exposed. Doodle recognizing Psystorm being dropped. No probes killed as of yet, but he's just going to try to focus fire that Nexus down. Is he going to get it? He gets the Nexus at the natural, sacrificing all of his Dragoons in the process. Fisheye is now all in in what could be the final game of the Hasu League BSL Season 16. The Nexus being redropped at the natural to recapture those resources. Oh, that's very thin to not being... Ooh, that's really close to not being worth it. The Nexus, maybe just to rebuild the probes. Nexus, Nexus being grabbed at the 5 o'clock. Archon's High Templar moving out. They need to strike some damage. Fisheye barreling forward with his attack forces. The probe again getting denied along the rear and Fisheye a little bit scattered. I'm not sure if he knows where he wants to head. Maybe he's going to head up to that high ground temple. Has managed to sneak some workers. It looks like the five o'clock. Doodle also going to try to sneak his Nexus here nearby. Neither player aware of it. Doodle fanning out. Towards the south, however, has some a Dark Templar in tow, continually taking out some workers here to the rear. Really crushing Fisheye's worker count. So Fisheye, I want to say he's potentially all in. Oh, this gets scouted as well. Disaster for Fisheye. Also, the high ground attack troop has been spotted. So going to lose this Nexus. And honestly, I would just leave it fallow. Yeah, just move it. Redraw, defend that. Temple to the north. This is Fisheye's one shot to take out that base, move into the north, and he's got to do so before this Nexus comes online and troops just reposition, and Doodle's able to evict him from the high ground. Doodle has his own high Templar now. Plus one weapon, plus one armor, by the way, for both sides, so no upgrade advantage. A Dark Templar moving in. Do we have an Observer? We do have an Observer opposite side. I think Doodle trying to snipe the Observer in the air. 
tense moments here. Sidestorm over the Reaver line. An Archon moving a little bit too far forward. Going to eat some fire and be taken out as well. Sidestorm opposite edge as well. There is saturation to that bottom right as that Nexus is warping in. Some probes look like they're going to potentially forfeit their lives on the return trip. A single Zealot being dedicated to wipe out that Nexus at the 5 o'clock. Fisheye soon is no longer going to be mining. And in a desperate situation, he has to win this match to stay alive in this series. Dragoon's marching out to potentially wipe out these Zealots at the 5 o'clock. Reaver is now moving in to Doodle's third base. Some Zealots storming across. It looks like they're going to try to wipe out that natural expansion nexus. The probe's evacuating. Might walk all the way around, just sack this base and go all the way to the bottom right-hand corner. We'll see. The Dragoons have managed to clear out that 5 o'clock. The Zealots checking various other locations. Are they going to storm into that natural from here? It looks like they are moving in. 17 workers left for Fisheye. It looks like he is going to be able to take out that third. The Zealot's going to try to power down that Nexus yet again. And Fisheye just has to watch it happen. High Templar has some Psystorm. Storm. But it is not enough. Nexus drops once again. More Zealots also star storming out. Looks like they want to go ahead and engage that 5 o'clock. The Nexus slowly being taken out. Not a lot of minerals left, however. And Doodle approaching a insurmountable macro lead. Fisheye doing his best. Now the Zelt's going to target down that 5 o'clock location. Fisheye no longer mining. And I don't think he has enough resources left to even rebuild the Nexus. So he's got to do it with the units he's got. Which is a tall order. Massive amount of Archons at the natural expansion. With this, it looks like Doodle... The North American might end up being the BSL Season 16 Hasu League Champion. Zelt storming out, engaging some reinforcements for Fisheye, forcing some Psy Storm expenditure. 12 o'clock Nexus has been wiped out. That shuttle sweeping back around. Able to pick off a High Templar. Small victories here. These two Dragoons have been absolutely massive dark templar trying to press forward make their presence felt how many kills five ten kills between the two doodle now storming up to the high ground eating side storm as he goes a flanking calvary calgary that word reinforcements being stormed along that left hand side but it's not going to be enough that's <laughs> doodle sweeping across wiping that out fisheye ggs Doodle is your BSL Season 16 champion in an exciting six matches. Great play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a like and subscribe. Channel might be a little bit empty for a while before the next season of Hasu League starts. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate your viewership and support as always. Thanks for listening.